Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Marjorie Taylor Greene is really furious right now, and she's furious at Republicans. Folks, before we get started, please take the time to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help a small channel continue to grow. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene was speaking to Breitbart News this week when she said she's dumbfounded as to why the Republicans have not moved to impeach Joe Biden yet with the evidence they have. Now, I have a theory on it I'm going to share with you before the end of this video, and it makes a lot of sense, in my opinion, and I want to know if you agree with it, but I'm going to get to what Marjorie said. What she said was, after reviewing the documents in the SCIF on Friday, the SCIF is a secure area where you can read classified documents, even though this document was not classified. The FBI allowed her committee to read this document in the SCIF. Now, she took notes in the SCIF, but the FBI confiscated those notes. However, outside of the SCIF, she again took those notes from memory, came back and told us what essentially happened. Now, what essentially happened, according to her, that's alleged in the document, is that Burisma, the company Hunter Biden coincidentally worked for, was trying to get a deal done in the United States. And they needed some power players to make some things happen for them. And who better than their own employee's dad, good old Joe Biden. So according to this document, Burisma facilitated a way to get $5 million over to Joe Biden and the Biden family. This is again when he served as vice president to former President Obama. And this would grease the wheels to get Burisma the business deal they wanted to get in the United States, which, by the way, they wound up getting. Now, after that was done, Green said she learned there was two more FBI documents, two more 1023s that were related to this particular bribery scheme. This is only one that we know of. There's millions of dollars going back and forth to the Biden family from all kinds of foreign entities over the course of the decades. But let's just focus on this. So Green's frustration is she's saying, well, then what's it going to take? You know, they, they impeached President uh, Trump over nothing, basically, and yet we can't impeach President Joe Biden when we have rock-solid, hardcore evidence that it's very likely that wrongdoing was done here. And if not wrongdoing, a severe, severe appearance of impropriety, right? Now, I have my theory on this. As frustrated as Green is, and she says impeachment should come relatively soon, I think McCarthy's smarter than that. I think Speaker McCarthy sees the big picture. See, they're hitting Trump with indictment after indictment, and they're trying to drag these trials out into the election. Well, how do you even the playing field? You save all of your ammunition until you need it. You wait, and a few months, maybe six months before the election, definitely before early voting starts, you begin an impeachment in the House of Representatives where you lay out all kinds of evidence, you get the man impeached, then you go to the Senate where he's not going to be convicted, but you get to have the trial and you get to lay out all the evidence you have against Biden and the Biden family for the American people to see. The media cannot ignore this and they have to give it at least equal time to what Trump's going through. This is huge. This is an impeachment of the President of the United States. If they didn't, it would be a huge dereliction of duty they would lose all credibility, whatever shred of dignity they have left, right? So this could be the ultimate solution for them to combat what's going on with Trump. If that's what their plan is, and by the way, if it's not and they're watching this video, it's a really good plan. Go ahead and feel free to use it. If they do that, that's probably a best case scenario to even the playing field for the presidential election. Anyway, that's my opinion. I would love to know what you guys think about it in the comments. Again, my name is Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.